It's a new week and it's a new video and it's an awesome adventure. It's a gorgeous October and I have just been thrifting my little heart out and I have so much to show you as well as a little DIY. Josephine's Mercantile, which is out of Fort Orchard. Hi. But then I went to an estate sale and I found a ton of stuff. And what's interesting is I met two viewers today, which is so exciting because honestly, I only have 2,500 subscribers. One of them was Malika and her and her husband um, import beautiful Turkish rugs. And so it was really nice to talk to her. I've actually been to Turkey and I really love it. It's such a beautiful country. Are just really amazing, so warm, so friendly. I just really, I don't know. I just really love Turkey. Um, and then I'm going to the Humane Society because my niece's cat somehow wound up there and there's nobody around to rescue him. So auntie, is going to be doing that. So that's where I'm headed. have two new favorite stalls here and this is one of them because look at that horse which I found for such a steal amongst a bunch of other items that I got from this particular booth. 
I love bundling and this vendor was totally up for that. Her specialty was clothing, not small vintage uh, items. And so I got a really good deal on a whole pile of stuff, including these German Shepherd bookends. running the Bremerton flea market, Steve? Um, Connie and I used to be vendors here. And then um, and then after a little bit, we, uh, we we decided to leave to do other things for a while because we both had full-time jobs. And um, and we got a call from the previous uh, owner, Michelle, who's super awesome. And she uh, wanted to know if we wanted to take the market over because she wasn't sure it was gonna stay on. So, uh, so that's how we ended up coming over and doing the market. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, as a reseller, you think there's room, you think there's margin for resellers here? Yes, in fact, we have a lot of uh, a lot of shops come here to stock their own shelves, so yeah. uh, so it's always a good place, you know, to get it come here first. All right, cool. <laughs> and how often is the market? We do it every Saturday, 10 to 4, all year round. Roger was in jail when <laughs> we were going to rest. So my niece and I rescued her kitty, Roger, who apparently was in kitty jail since Friday, so three days. Poor thing, I think he has kitty dementia and he just wandered away. Anyways, he is safe and sound, although they gave us the wrong kitty first. And we had to turn around and go back and get the real Roger. Even though I'm pooped, I gotta show you, I'm really tempted to do this right now, but maybe I should wait. So this is my current backsplash situation here behind my sink. It is hideous. Even the counter is actually pretty, that's my Tylenol PM so I could sleep. But even the laminate's pretty ugly. And I've thought about paying to switch it out to like um, butcher block, except that I, it's a super big counter. I moved all the stuff, but it's a really big counter. And I use this all the time as like a workspace. So I paint stuff on here and I cut stuff on here. And I'm not sure how, you know, paint on butcher block probably wouldn't be very good.
I was specifically looking for some little wood topped containers and a three tier shelf I had seen in another YouTuber's video. But of course you have to check out everything else and, and Ikea does such an amazing job of putting together these uh, merchandised rooms. They're so appealing and honestly their prices are pretty darn good. I had really no use for this little set, but my gosh, look how adorable that is. That would just make the cutest gift for somebody. I wasn't finding the wood top containers I wanted, but I did find some pink toilet paper <laughs> and honestly a whole bunch of other items that I didn't realize I couldn't live without. My total bill was like 65 bucks, which is nothing. I feel like I got a ton of stuff for my little uh, backsplash redo. And it totally brought back memories because when I used to manage vacation rentals, I used to furnish, they used to pay me to furnish them, which was in hindsight, you know, it was fun, but it was so much work and such a tight timeline. But I used to come to Ikea and I'd get two big carts and they would be brimming with stuff and things would be falling off and I'd be running into things. And anyways, talk about extreme shopping. I would have to do extreme shop shopping for these houses. <music>
Hey, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I have a brick and mortar store in Poulsville, Washington. I have a couple of antique booths in Seattle, Washington, and I sell on almost all the major platforms. I also have an Instagram account. And if you're not following me there, you should because I post content almost every, actually, every single day I post content. And if you're ever interested in any of the items that I show you, a lot of them are listed on my online shops and I do have a promo code, which is down below. This is just for my YouTube subscribers. So you're welcome to use it. And anyways, I'm glad you're here. So this isn't in any particular order, but I went to this garage sale right down the street from me. This was last week and I found these beautiful, beautiful pillows with this ticking stripe. At another sale, still in my hometown, I picked up these great paint by number pieces and these are so perfect for right now. Perfect for fall, perfect for winter. I love a trip to the Bremerton flea market. I always find stuff. I found this really cool orange mid-century modern planner. I love a pop of orange and it's hard to find. And then I also got this really cute little farmhouse soap dish which honestly I think I may put this online I recently sold one I picked up in France and I think this one I will probably put maybe $35 on it it does have one tiny nick on it but it is absolutely gorgeous I couldn't even believe my luck in finding these so not only are these adorable but these are fiesta I have a few fiesta pieces and I have never seen a pumpkin. I think that they're probably newer, um, but they did come with a box and I am gonna say they're newer, but I don't care. It is fiesta and they are adorable. So I need to get these online right away. I don't know what they comp for. I did pay up for these. So I paid $20 for two of them, but I'm happy to buy them. I got this beautiful landscape at the Bremerton Flea Market and this was such a good deal. He was really um, like a ceramics dealer and so this was only five dollars. It is so pretty. So I picked this piece up. I have no idea what it is or if it's old or not. I paid five dollars for it. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. I think that this one's probably gonna go to my booth in Seattle um, because I wouldn't even know what to put it under in, um, you know, if I listed it in my shop online. I found a new dealer at the Bremerton Flea Market who I really like. I think it's Lulu's. I will put the information up above or down below. She has an Instagram account and she sells mostly vintage clothing, which I didn't buy any of but I did buy these really cool German Shepherd bookends and originally they were $20. She gave them to me for 10. I absolutely love them. They are old. You can see the green felt down below and they're not like solid brass like a lot of bookends are, but I still think they're super cool. I also got this amazing filigree velvet purse look at the detail on that it is just amazing so pretty and I paid $50 for everything I bought from her so I didn't even kind of like price them out but that is gorgeous since my booth in Seattle the Americana one's been doing so good that's really where I've been concentrating on buying for and so I got this great tin from her too it's yellow with a black it's so cool it is J G Dill's best slice oh so it's a tobacco tin very cool. I'm telling you, this girl was after my own heart because I also got this amazing Cinnabar bracelet. It is the coolest. I may wind up keeping this one because it is that cool or I may sell it. I absolutely love it. Oh, and it's not Cinnabar. It looks like it and maybe the stones on the side are, but that looks more painted. 
And then I <clears throat> also got a little velvet run her, runner from her. These, if you can find these and you're an online seller, these sell so well. I have priced them anywhere between $25 and $55 and they always sell. And I love me some Florentine trays and look how pretty these are. These are so gorgeous. And these are probably going to go to my boho booth. Um, so pretty. Oh, and then I also got another kitty. He's adorable. Look at that. He's a carved onyx cat very mid-century modern this one's gonna go on line so cute the sale i went to on friday the estate sale had tons and tons of hollywood regency items and well, ah, including these two gorgeous vanity mirrors i love these and i also picked up some brass items there that i absolutely love look at these sconces are these I don't even know what that says, but look at those. Aren't those beautiful? These I think I may um, put online and you can actually put candles in them and they have these little glass domes or you could just leave it like that. So I thought these were really gorgeous. I found these little brass buckets with little shells on them. This cute little shell trinket tray that's adorable and look at him he is so cute these probably these two will probably go online as well i made several stops at the goodwill over the last couple of weeks i picked up this really cool milk glass turkey I'm not sure, but I need 40 items to list every week. And so I think he's going online. He is a big one. I haven't comped him, but even I would love this for my centerpiece on my, well, I only have a little breakfast bar, but he is so cool. I got this really funky retro pillow at the found market it's I only bought two things there and this was one of them it was so cute I couldn't leave it behind it's very 70s 60s 70s it's a needlepoint it's going online and then at the Bremerton flea market I got this gorgeous Greek horse is he not amazing I only paid four dollars for him I couldn't believe that he didn't have any damage but he is the coolest and he's going to my bo boho booth and I'm gonna put like 48 dollars because I if I had space I would keep him because I love this yellow color another Hollywood Regency piece I really loved was this one it's a little waste paper basket and i'm going to put it online i'm not going to have fun shipping it but i just thought it was too cool to leave behind i got this one at the bremerton flea market it's rusty it's crusty but i thought it was just so cool to like hang in the bathroom with some towels in it or even like in a kid's room or in an office very utilitarian but very farmhouse as well i picked up this mid-century modern lamp isn't that cool i only paid 25 dollars for this i think i even have a shade back at the store and then and then for my uh americana booth i love this it's just a very rusty egg basket, but it has this advertising on it, which is really cool. You rarely see that. It pays to use Casco egg produce. And I paid $15 for this, but I'm actually going to put $65 on it, mainly because of the advertising. More stuff for my kind of farmhouse Americana booth are these beautiful, Norwegian or Scandinavian salt glaze salt and pepper shakers or maybe they're American salt glaze but they're so pretty I put $39 on them and then I love this wood mirror I got this one at the found mart uh, market and that's going to my um, Americana booth and I will probably put like 
$33 on that one. Well, apparently I totally forgot to film an ending, but if you guys get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods are with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.